Hey guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be jumping back into some more Project Architect. And, well, going to the nether and doing some exploring. So, I hope you guys are ready. So today is going to be a big day starting off. I'm prepping myself for the nether. Now, at the moment, I think I have the ability to make myself diamond armor. However, I'm really going to focus at the moment on my sword with Tinkers. So I was taking through the look at the planner and I really love this planner. I'm like super addicted to it now. This makes scheduling and setting up custom Tinkers tools and, and looking at what the different parts can do. It just makes it so much easier and it's really, really nice. So at the moment I am using, I, I want to play or I, I went set out to plan to make a, a sword that has a base damage that is really high. And this one is 12. Now the attack speed is not super, super fast. The only way to get our attack speed up higher is to include a cobalt piece. I think uh, using cobalt in this in some way, not only uh, makes it faster, but also does help with, uh, it doesn't really lose much of its attack, but this right here is gonna be nice. Now, this the name of this part right here, the name of this part is called Nawaddle, right? Like Axolotl, but Nawaddle. So uh, I'm almost positive that is exactly how this is called. So this is our this is going to be called a Nawaddle sword overall. The only piece we have is flint. I thought about using bone, but I realized it actually has a better damage and durability output if we use uh, flint and a piece of Nawaddle or, or Nawaddle in here. Um, so with that being said, the way we get this is we take a wooden piece and obsidian. And all we do is we cast it directly onto the wooden piece that you get, of course, from your part builder. And once this is casted out and it has enough, as you can see, it's slowly draining. I believe this is actually one of the more expensive. Yeah, it costs eight, uh, basically eight blocks worth. So yeah, this is gonna take a while to cast, but I need to cast it onto that part, the wooden handle here and the large plate. And then of course the flint part well, that's pretty easy. It's just a tough handle with flint. You can pull that right out. So yeah, this is gonna take a little bit of time. As you can see, it's almost done with this one. And there it goes. So I, this is the wood part, by the way. No, that's just the table has EMC. I was gonna say, um, oh, I forgot to mention, while this is doing this, um, so I know some of you had mentioned like, oh, EMC is really overpowered. But if you wanted to play this pack without EMC, you could honestly remove Project E. There's nothing, or just not even use Project D. You could toss this when you start the pack. There is nothing in this pack that makes you need to use Project D. So if you wanted to play this without it, go for it. It's gonna play just like any other mod pack, uh, any other kitchen sink mod pack that doesn't have Project E in it. Um, it's, it's, I mean, everything is in here. You can do quarries, there's all kinds of stuff. Um, so I think you'd be, you'd be fine even not using this. Um, later on, this is going to become less and less of a thing that we use. The only thing I think it's going to be used for is mostly for building. Um, whenever I get the tablet, I think the tablet is going to make my life so much easier when it just comes to like pulling out wood randomly and stuff like that. When it comes to ores and stuff, that's all going to be handled with refined storage later on down the road. And just like that, all of my parts are made. And, uh, yeah, this sword is by its base. I mean, this is, this is a pretty sick sword. Like it's, it starts off automatically with 12.7 damage, has quite a bit of durability. Like I said, the only thing is it's draw speed is a little bit slow, but in reality, it's just enough to do a crit attack and then move back and then hit another crit attack. Like it's, it's, it's right there. Um, now we can speed it up, but it only has two modifiers or two upgrade modifiers available on it, which isn't a lot. Um, but we do have an abilities and I think the best thing to put on the abilities is going to be luck. However, we, d we don't have access to, to really any of that yet. We have to go on, uh, quite an adventure for that. All right. So now that we have this, let's get our obsidian and I, I think I'm probably going to just use iron armor. Like to kind of start off, I, we should be fine with iron armor and I'm also going to bring a shield. So I'm gonna grab, oh, I already have the planks on me. So we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and make myself a shield. That is the main thing we're gonna need. 
And of course, I'm going to get myself equipped up with some regular iron armor to hop into this dimension. Um, probably a bad idea. Um, another thing that would be really nice, if I could get a hold of like some slime boots, it'd be really great. I'm trying to think, I guess I could fly around in this dimension, but it's going to be really, really dangerous to do that, especially since there are mobs that fly around as well and will attack you. Yeah, flying's probably not a good idea. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering why my experience is lower, well, I was trying to kill an Enderman. Uh, there was an Enderman that popped up and uh, I got wrecked by the Enderman. I am such a dork. I wish I would have got that on camera. I completely got annihilated. I was so close though. It was it was down to half a heart and then, and then managed to slaughter me. Like, <sighs> the things I do, the things I have to go through. All right, so now that we have flint and steel and we have our obsidian, we're going to head into that dimension. Um, let's see. I need iron, not steel, just iron. Where's my... Oh, I have steak in here. Iron. And uh, as soon as we take this, we should be ready to go. Combine those. Learn that. Perfect. Where am I going to put this portal? That is the thing. I don't want to put it low like you definitely don't want to put the portal underground because the chance of it going into an under underground pocket oh it's so high and uh believe me it, it going like that is is probably the worst thing that could happen i think putting it back here into the wall this might actually be the perfect place for it oh yeah and we can even like see it there's a little overhang here yeah that should work perfect so we'll place it right here. I'll end up covering the outer edges. But for right now, this is a nice little area. Okay, so let's go ahead and light this thing. I really just want to walk in and see what I'm getting myself into. Uh, I'm kind of nervous, honestly. Hopefully we get a good spawn. I hope. Okay, I would... I mean, I'm, I'm honestly consider this a pretty good spawn. Like, this is a ghast free spawn, uh, hopefully. And we're at Y level 94, which is pretty high up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and mine through here a little bit. Put this in my offhand. This is, oh yeah, this is uh, some special ore right here from the Better Nether Reforged. We can actually use this to make some decorative blocks. There's also a lot of cool things in the nether here. So the, the nether is not your normal nether. It's definitely a place to go adventuring. So if we're at Y level 90, I would say that we're pretty high up. Because I think that the base level is, is a little bit lower. I want to I wanna try and mine down. Aha, uh -huh. just as I expected. Yep, I thought because being up this uh, this high of a level, yeah, we were going to need something special to be able to get down. Luckily, we have cork in here, which makes going down pretty easy. We do have someone special down there waiting for us, as I can hear that. Yeah, oh, perfect. We spawned right here. Hopefully this makes uh, finding the fortress a little bit easier because we do need blaze today. So yeah, now that we're down here, oh man. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be a bit challenging to traverse. Oh yeah, and I don't have any gold. I wonder if I turn into one of those guys, if they would leave me alone though. I didn't even think about that. I wonder if I grab some of these as well. Go ahead and grab some mushrooms. Okay, this place is incredibly dark. Withered oak. But this stuff looks super cool. I'm gonna grab some of this. Cause you just never know. Looks like it's got an EMC value, which is really, really great. But I'm looking off in the distance to hopefully find either, I know these spawn blazes, but I'm wanting a fortress. There's some glowstone, which is always good to grab. Let's see, do I see any more glowstone or am I going to have to... I'm going to keep wandering around here and see if I can't find a better position on this. I think one of the big things that I... Or smart things I should probably do is find one of these guys. I've already went back. I got myself a gold helmet now and some gold. And I just need to just start trading. Just go for it, man. 
And then while this guy is distracted, I'm going to try and put him in a hole. All right, stay distracted. No, no, get back in the hole. Let's see. Do it without punching you? Perfect. Now you're in a hole. Nice. And so, should be able to hop down in here. Keep trading. And I'm going to keep trading and trading until I get myself some potions of fire resistance. I think that's definitely going to be the way to go. Oh, there we go. I just got a splash potion of fire resistance. So I'm going to keep trying to get as many of these as I can. And I might even be able to get ender pearls, I think, from this. Yeah, that's actually going to be a pretty, pretty nice thing. And I get soul sand and all kinds of other stuff. So out of all of that, that entire stack of gold, I did get buddy cards. Uh, which is pretty nice, but um, mm, I didn't get uh, any ender pearls, unfortunately. Uh, but I did manage to get some scorched lanterns with blaze in them. Now, this is just going to give me the base scorched lantern, but this actually has blazing blood in it, uh, which is a uh, pretty nice stuff. Um, I don't know how much. Bl I don't know if I can empty this out. Let's see, blazing blood. Can we use that to make blaze powder? It can be used to make a blaze rod. We only need a hundred millibuckets to make a single blaze rod. Really? <laughs> oh, yes. And we just need a gold rod cast. Uh, do I have... What would a gold rod cast? How would we go about getting... Apparently the hunter we can get stuff from. Oh, so we, we need a stick. A stick in gold. Literally. Oh, man. Um, and I think I might be able to, can I drain this into the smeltery? I need to actually check before I, oh, we can. So I have blazing blood in here. Yes. Wow. So there we go. There is our easy to get. Thankfully due to trades, um, we'll actually get two. What's this actually look like? Oh, it actually is pretty nice. So this, this was a new, uh, tinkers thing that allows you to cast into this and cast fluids into the lantern. And you have all these different lantern variants uh, with the fluids inside. Okay. Um, so anyways, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting carried away. Um, I need a gold in here. And then I'm going to need a stick. So I can literally cast this out. This is, this is perfect. I was not expecting that actually. To even think about that. Um, that is molten. Oh, there's copper in here. I've got to get all this copper out. Just like this, I can now cast out with the gold. You know what? I was just not expecting to get still was not expecting it to get the get the blaze rods this way. But there we go. Blaze rod with the blazing blood and I can now save it. Very, very nice. Uh, buddy cards. We're going to save you for later. I actually I'm, I want to set up like a thing, I think, in the room here. Oh, creepers. By the way, I want to see if that thing prevents them from exploding. They just go, they just disappear. Oh, I love that. So yeah, this right here, that is perfect that that does all this. Nice. So now we have blaze um, and I want to use this to get some villagers up. By the way, I ended up getting soul speed. That might be useful to put on whenever we're in the nether. Um, and then this stuff, I don't know. I, it was trading this. What is this? Give, oh, so this is like black dye in some way. Oh, no, is it coal? Ah, if, okay, so if this is coal, then I need to set up some EMC values. So as I'm playing this, by the way, I'm still working through EMC values uh, and stuff like that. So if they need to be set, which I'm surprised some things aren't set, uh, I will be going through and setting them. Like for example, this right here will just be equivalent to coal. So now that I have a brewing stand, I can actually take some of these, uh, these right here, these splash potions, and uh, we can give it some redstone. Oh, wait, I don't, I don't have any, well, I guess I do. Never mind. I, I was like, I don't have any nether ward, but like, I don't really need it. So like I have blaze powder here. Um, so we can store that so we can, yeah, so we can still cook these things. I just need redstone to be able to upgrade these from uh, the tier three splash potions to the tier eight, or I, I should say tier one to tier two. Um, so yeah, this is going to bump up the time from three to eight minutes. So with that in the works, we are so much closer. All I need is uh, ender pearls. So to do that, 
we're about to uh, go experiment with some villagers. By the way, the potions do stay. So like this right here, fire resist. There we go. We now have fire resist eight potions. That is going to be super helpful. Uh, but at the moment, I'm going to go ahead and take this and take this. And we need to head off and uh, go back to that village that we have over here. And uh, yeah, we're going to do some trades to hopefully unlock ender pearls with a cleric. So hopefully I can keep this lovely villager. Hopefully it'll turn. Come on. You know you want to turn. Someone wants to turn. There's got to be someone around here who sees this and goes, I'm going to be a cleric. I'm going to be a cleric today. Are you going to be a cleric today? No one wants to be a cleric. I see how it is. All right. Anybody? Huh. So after a little bit of trial and error, I finally got this cleric in here. Oh man, I had to break his station, but uh, man, this was the only one that would listen to me. So rotten flesh, and I will just trade away with his villager. Getting some emeralds. Oh, we're gonna need way more. Hopefully it doesn't lock us out. If anything, I can always like buy its redstone. But yeah, luckily this guy will have some awesome things that we can trade to provide our EMC table or our Project E table. You know what's crazy is the last time I played with Project E was back in 112. And in 112, we had villagers, but villagers weren't the way they are now. Villagers are so much different. I mean, completely, completely different, totally overhauled. So uh, it's, it's a different kind of experience. I think this totally feels different playing in this version. So unfortunately, I'm, I'm not the most fortunate player. As you can see, I didn't get the Ender Pearl trade, which is kind of unfortunate, but I did buy everything that I could possibly buy from this, uh, this guy, like Glowstone, which I still hadn't got yet. And I did buy myself some bottles of enchanting, which are kind of expensive. But other than that, we're good. So I can actually leave this guy and let's hopefully find, find someone else that we can call Cleric uh, because I got to get that Ender Pearl trade. 100%. And you know what? I'm going to I'm going to lock this guy right right here. You're you're locked in. Well, actually no, you're you're not locked in. All right. Anyways, I've got to find another victim. <laughs> yeah. And man, this adventure at getting an Ender Pearl has just been just been too much. Oh, but finally, Ender Pearl has been received. Thank goodness. And uh I mean, I might as well I might as well get this guy up to the next level. What what do you what are you offering? Let's let's do this and this. I'm almost positive every single final trade ends up being oh, a bottle of enchanting, but bottle of enchanting and also this. Now, this is a pretty good trade for the bottles of enchanting. So like if I trade as many of these as I want, this is going to be well, this is a double. How much is this? So that's 32. Actually, no, this is a horrible trade. <laughs> Never mind. Do not do that. I thought I was going somewhere with that. But we now have Ender Pearls. Oh, and I can make the exchanger finally. Oh, I'm, I'm ready to get back to the base. So at the moment, I'm working through the grind that is crafting up exchangers. Um, because they have like a tiered recipe. So you start off with like this. And then the next one requires itself plus the core and keeps going up. And then you now I'm moved to the tier two core. And so I'm, I'm slowly but surely putting this together. And uh, my goal is to at least get to the iron one because the iron one has a pretty decent durability. We can always exchange it back and forth. Uh, and it looks like it only costs 35, which is nice. And it's not too big. I think once you start getting up higher is when the ranges on them get quite significant. I think I have just about everything. I think I'm just needing eyes. And I think I have everything to go up to gold. There we go. And then last but not least is the final upgrade to iron, which looks to me like it's going to be pretty easy. Six iron and I'm good to go. Just sort of taking my time, you know, and that's what this pack is all about. I'm really, I'm really enjoying like the relaxing nature of this pack. I just get to sort of just play and I'm and build and not really have to worry about anything. So the thing I've been wanting to do with the walls, I can now do so. Right here, I have my stone. I shift right click on this. I can open up the menu, which by default is the uh, comma key. Um, I like to set this up to like three or five, probably do five. And then this is where the fun happens. I'm going to set this to fuzzy placement 
And uh, this is where I'm gonna set it to like 35%. So I'm gonna be exchanging this wall and 35, it's gonna have a 35% chance to convert it into stone. And if I don't think that it did it enough, I can just hit it a couple, couple more times and that is going to convert more of it, as you can see right here. So yeah, this, and as you can see, it does use durability. And I can even exchange these blocks as well. Um, later on, I might even go through and get rid of a lot more of the dirt. Yeah, even inside the dirt, I can go ahead and exchange this. This is why I wanted this exchanger. Oh, it, it's going to make like putting mossy stuff in here so much easier as well. So look who I heard. And so I decided to go ahead and check out and see if there's any good trades over here. And uh, well, hopefully this guy has some good trades. A crimson mosquito larva, totem of undying, moss blocks, uh, and wow, it's offering blaze powder. Okay, so the crimson mosquito larva alone, the fact, I don't even know why it's giving three of those. The fact that that even exists, oh my gosh. Oh boy, that bat is right there. Oh no, oh no, I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die. I'm gonna die. This is why this is dangerous. Oh boy. Okay, I have my health back. <laughs> the, literally, I was about to be killed by a bat. So I am back in the nether. This time, I definitely wanna try my best to find the fortress. Now, looking on the map, it doesn't really seem like there's a fortress anywhere super nearby, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. There's a bastion right here, but uh, pushing forward, I'm not seeing any signs of a fortress, which is really unfortunate. Um, what I might end up doing is just branching off in this, or sorry, in the other direction and hope that I might stumble upon one if I keep mining up at the higher levels. I think this should hopefully keep us safe. If not, we might have to mine up closer to the roof. So as I'm making my way through my tunnel, I did discover this area. Ooh, there's a ruby. Um, yeah, this, this thing. There is a gas spawner right here. I'm gonna try and open this up. So hopefully I can get to this. This is a gas nest. And there we go. I'm able to pull that in. Um, so yeah, I need to be able to get to this gas nest some way. I'm gonna continue my bridge because there's supposed to be a chest in here. So there's a skull in here. There's a spawner right there. I'm gonna leave that spawner because that actually might be kind of useful. But we have this. Oh, and there's not a gas tier in it. Usually there'll be a gas tier which is pretty nice. All right. So, out of all that, did we, did the gas tier happen to drop here? No. Looks like I can always like, oh. <laughs> you can always like do that. Oh goodness. Oh, there's another head. I'm gonna grab all these. But I do have that like magnet ability. I was wondering if, if anything did drop. Ow! I would be able to pick it up. And, oh man, so close. Well, that maybe didn't go so hot. For some reason, I got hit immediately. And that put a big, big, big hurt on my, my damage there, or my heart. And I died. So, I'm gonna use this key with an ender pearl. And I should be able to teleport back to my death location. Look at that. Nice. It takes me right back to where I died. That is Cobalt Ore right here, by the way. I should probably mine that up. So up ahead, I see the fortress. I can see it on the map. I decided to, since I didn't get very far this way, uh, I decided to branch off this way. And well, let's turn into that ghast we killed. And hope we don't take too much damage. That's the problem with as big as it is, you do take some damage, but you can fly around, which is pretty nice. However, you don't fit in, you, yeah, you don't fit in certain spaces, but 
right here, I have landed. So, I should be able to land. By the way, this I found out what structure this is. This is actually coming from Quark, and uh, they shouldn't be spawning in this dimension, but they are. Or maybe they are supposed to be spawning. I might need to go into the configs and get that all set up. But here we are. Oh boy. Fire resistance is probably going to be a good thing to have. Especially with those nearby. These guys are not very friendly. Yeah, as you can see, that's why I have the fire protection. Thank goodness. And when they do that, you can't kill them. But now, now he's gone. I think, by the way, you can fly around as a blaze as well. Not the best thing to do, but it'll definitely get you by. I'm just here basically for nether wart. That's like one of the main reasons why I'm here. And there we go, nether wart. So yeah, let's see about this blaze because I remember more in the past, if I could just kill a blaze. There we go, I killed the blaze. I still, by the way, don't, I don't have a, a, a gas here, but as many gas as I killed, still no gas here. But I'm going to kill wither skeletons. Maybe even get a wither skeleton skull, which I did. Wow. Our first wither skeleton kill and it drops a skull. <laughs> That's insane. That's awesome. All right. Well, now that I've got that, uh, we can see if we can't morph into a blaze and then we'll see. Does the blaze offer flight at the cost of awful particles in our face? Oh, and it does. Yes, this is definitely the better way of flying around the nether is as a blaze. So here's a question to you guys. So far, have you been enjoying watching this mod pack? Like, of course, let me know down in the comments below um, what you think about this mod pack so far. And are you excited to play it? Because at the moment, it is going to be released onto Curse Forge very, very soon. So, anyways, I just want to know what you guys have been thinking about it so far. Well, guys, now that I'm back, of course, we have more exploring to do. Of course, next episode and the many episodes after that, I have a lot more building that, of course, I plan on doing. Uh, but, of course, that's going to have to wait till next episode. And, guys, I do want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. And that is going to be a huge thanks. That is going to go to little Josh. Thank you so much for your amazing support. By the way, over on the Discord, being an absolute boss, becoming a diamond tier supporter. And of course, guys, if you're interested in joining the Discord, all you got to do is go to discord.gg forward slash chosen architect. And of course, you can find all of the amazing stuff over there in the Discord. You don't have to be a premium member or anything like that. There is an SMP server for you. But if you do decide to become a premium member, you do get access to exclusive servers like our modded servers. So be sure to check that out. And of course, guys, I will see you in the next one. Be sure to click that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I'll see you later. And as always, thanks for watching.